Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Over the new year, I was down at the coast and seized this opportunity while I was at the beach to fill up a couple of bottles with seawater. I did originally have four bottles, but I gave two of them away. Um, but my mission is to extract salt from seawater. It's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And so I want to see if I can get just a little bit of salt from this. So let's do it. All right, so I've done the math real quick. Um, it's a bit rough because I didn't measure exactly how much water I had, but these are 600 mil bottles, so therefore I've got 1,200 grams of water. Um, and there's about 3.5% per weight of salt in seawater, um, which I, after I finish, I should expect about 42 grams of salt from this amount of seawater here from these two bottles. So it'll be interesting to see what I actually get. But the method I'm using here is basically just be simmering off the water, or boiling off the water slowly until this, so I start to see some salt appear and eventually I want it to kind of be a kind of a wet sand consistency. Then after that I'll lay it out on a pan and I'll put it outside where it's a bit warmer and let the rest of the water evaporate off and it can dry out the salt there. Now the way I'm going to actually pour this in uh, is just I'm going to lightly filter it through some paper towels here. I collected pretty clear water um, but there's only like a very small amount of impurities just on the bottom there. So I'll try to get them out. There we go. So pretty much filled this pot, which is good. Now actually I have tasted this salt water. Um, it doesn't it doesn't taste as salty as I would expect it to. And so looking back at the video, how I collected this stuff was in a rock pool. Um, now the high tide was just in and it did go out, so it should have been filled with, with um, seawater. But one key thing was it was raining earlier on that day. And so some rain water, fresh water could have actually come in and mixed with it, not making this as salty. So this 3.5, percent number here for my salt water might not actually be accurate and I'd be curious to see what my actual yield is and how salty this water was. But anyway now to start the long tedious process of boiling water down. All right the water is about halfway now. Um, as it was boiling you can see around here um, some of the water would jump out and so this, this I, I, I think is actually some of the sea salt too. It's not very much so it's not really going to affect my final numbers or anything. It's been about 45 minutes, it's gone about halfway down. I'm just going to keep it going for longer and then I might slowly start to turn the temperature down as I go. I don't want to burn the salt or anything, I just want to try to get it out as cleanly as possible. I just want to see something. I'm just going to lift it off the heat for a sec. Okay, yeah, I mean, there's, you can see in there, there's salt lined all in there. And the water looks really cloudy at this point. I reckon that would probably also be some salt slowly coming out of the solution there. I'll put it back on. Ooh. I wonder what caused that. See how high the bubbles went then? Yeah, I wonder what caused it to do that. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'll keep it going. I think in hindsight, I should have been stirring a bit earlier because some of the salt got stuck to the bottom a bit. I've done a bit of scraping though, but look at it. Some good salt chunks there and then salt just sort of forming a crust on top a little bit. 
going to keep turning the heat down. And then salt on here. I can actually taste that. And I mean, it's very salty, obviously, because it's salt. It tastes pretty good though. It tastes like regular sea salt I buy from the shops. It looks very, looks very white. It's very pure. Oh, look at that. Look at how much is there. Look at it just bunching up. When I was doing a bit of research on this, it said to get the salt to a wet sand consistency. I'm not really 100% sure what that means. I guess it's, it really is any time from now. Yeah, because to me, this is a really wet sand sort of consistency. I need it a little bit drier, but again, I don't want to push it. I have it on a pretty low heat though, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't burn quickly. I mean, that's a pretty wet sand consistency. I might just turn off the heat there and let's spread it out on a, on a pan and dry this salt out. Okay. Gonna put some baking paper on there. Get as much of this as I can out of here. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty hard. It just kind of globs together and sticks with all the water still in it. But you know that's not too bad. The weather outside has kind of taken a turn for the worse a little bit. It was a bit sunny before, but now not so much. So I'll put it in the oven uh, at a pretty low heat. Yeah, I don't want the oven to be too hot because then it could do something to the salt, burn it, change it, whatever. But um, yeah, I'll just keep, keep a close eye out on that for now. Okay, so it hasn't been too long. Uh, I did increase the temperature just a little bit up to about 70. I think it was 40 or 50. Um, but I wanna see if I can, if I try to shine, uh, maybe it's not really working too well. Maybe you can just see it without, but it looks like the salt crystals are properly forming. It looks very sparkly on the surface there, which is uh, at least I think is a good sign which means it's actually drying out and it's turning into salt crystals which is really good. Let's get careful with that. So I'm pretty sure this is dry. It all feels, looks very dry. Uh, it's been about, oh what? Probably 40 minutes as well of, of this being in the in the oven. Let's see, I can kind of crush up some of these bigger chunks here, but every now and again I'd come through and give it a bit of a mix and a bit of a crush just to reveal any hidden moisture in there. But I'm pretty sure this is mostly dry. And like, you can taste a little bit. Yeah. And just, just, just like salt, which is good. Um, I've got my little precision scales here so I can measure the weight of it. And I fashioned out this little paper cup. The reason why I'm using a really light paper cup is because these scales will only measure a max of 50 grams. And that's including even if I tear out the weight of the cup. So this weighs about 1.3 grams and I should have about 42 grams of salt. Uh, although I really don't know, I can't tell just by looking at this how, how heavy this is. I might have to measure it in a few different uh, goes. But let's do it anyway. I'm gonna come around this side. I'm 
Okay, I can't even fit all of it in the cup. So I'll do it bit by bit. Let's have a look. Let's see what this weighs. All right, so first one, 28. I'll just round up, 28.8. A lot of it's crusted onto the baking paper. All right, I mean, there are some bits left on here. I can get, them, get a few of them off. The actual amount of salt there is not that much. Yeah, because like that's, that's only just uh, We'll just say that's 11, 11 grams. So, what is that? That's uh, 39.8 grams, if I add them together. Whoa. So our goal was 42 grams. What I got was 39.8. Now, some salt still here, some salt still here. Uh, on the stove, there was the salt that came out and there's a little bit left in the pot. I can only assume it's, 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 it's about a gram, maybe a gram and a half extra um, that was wasted. But the good salt here, 39.8, so look, I could, I, I could just round up to 41 grams. I reckon that's a, that's a pretty comfortable round up. Um, there based off of just the the lost salt which is almost exactly 3.5 percent all right so here i have some store-bought uh sea salt I, be I believe this is sea salt uh, hopefully you can see it look at how white and clear that is and looking at my salt here it's pretty good i guess it is just a little bit darker slightly um, Kind of just a slightly different color, not quite proper white. So, which which would indicate there'd be probably a few impurities in there. Not really sure what they would be. Just whatever's in seawater. There's a lot of things in seawater. Yeah, but getting 39.8 grams of this, rounding up to about 41 from all the loss. Uh, I guess if there's impurities in here too, then you know just below 41 grams of salt meaning pretty much directly on the nose of 3.5% um, of what the internet told me uh, per weight of what is what, how much salt is in seawater. So that's pretty good. I'm actually really, really quite impressed with, um, with that, with how close I, uh, I, I actually extracted the salt from that. So yeah, I'm not sure if I actually wanna eat this or if there's some kind of purification process that I could go through to, to like I've, I've had it in small amounts. It just tastes really salty. I guess comparing it to this stuff, let's have a look. Wait, let me taste this again. This one, I guess, tastes saltier, slightly, um, than this one. But as far as the actual flavor of salty, they both taste the same, if that makes any sense at all. So yeah, I might hang on to this salt, and if there's some kind of, I might do some research, if there's some kind of purification process, I could try to purify it, and then I can, I guess, more comfortably use it, because depending on what the impurities are, I might not want to consume a lot of it. If you know, then please let me know in the comments, or if you know of a process to purify it, then also let me know in the comments too. But yeah, thanks for coming along on that journey with me. Thanks for, for watching all the way through. Um, if you want to try this out yourself, it's really simple. Just boil down some seawater. That's, that's really all there is to it. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun doing the math here and working out 
uh, and working out what I could expect to get and then seeing the results so close to what I expected. It's, it's, just, it's just really awesome to see that. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this one. Thank you.